You don't eat sake rice. It's not very good. We tried to eat it, but it's not very good. This, the sake rice is a special polishing. Uh, they'll take the, the white rice and they'll mill it and they'll mill it and they'll mill it till half of it is gone because they only want the center, they say. And the center is pure starch. There are no proteins, no oils, no lipids left in that rice. And so the, there's nothing to uh, contaminate the taste. The, the Yamada Nishiki has a, a very large percentage has a chalky center. So imagine that they're milling this down to the center. They keep milling off the outside and what they end up with is the chalky center. That chalky center is permeable. They add an enzyme, they cook the rice, then they add an enzyme and the enzyme is able to penetrate the rice completely. And as that enzyme is changing the starch into sugar, they add that to the vat, they add yeast, and you have simultaneous uh, brewing, I suppose. As the enzyme is changing the starch to sugar, the, the uh, yeast is turning the, the sugar to alcohol. And they just keep adding rice until, they, until the fermentation stops. And then they squeeze out the liquid, and the liquid is sake. And when you do that, that, that sake is the highest quality sake and highest price sake. It's called a daigenjo. It's supposed to be, the sake from the Yamada Nishiki is supposed to be like wine, like the French wines, and it's supposed to be served chilled. It's fruity tasting, which is really strange since there's only rice and yeast involved.